we need reassurance for our investments and there are risk free alternatives available and mutual funds are not allowed to assure you any return they are prohibited by the law but still what should you expect from the various kind of mutual fund that exist today because they invest in an underlying which where there is a framework of your for your expectation Hello and welcome to Investors Hangout. This weekly interaction to help you learn and understand savings and investment issues is brought to you by Aditya Birla Sun Life Mutual Fund and Value Research. Now when it comes to investments, the first thing you want to know how much return will an investment get you? How much can you earn from your investment? No one really chooses an investment with the hope that it will get you modest gains. So when it comes to mutual funds, what kind of returns should you expect? Can mutual funds help you become wealthy? financially independent we'll talk about that in today's episode keep watching there are many things which affect investment performance investment returns and all those factors also has a bearing on mutual fund mutual fund is nothing but invest in those investments only making investment in some asset class or the other and uh, the things that affect investment are variety of stuff you know there could be greater uncertainty which has a bearing on equity inflation which has a bearing on equity as well as fixed income so there are many things which has a bearing and of course you know if if we have poor companies if they are bad companies if they are companies in a poor health uh, and they have issued bonds and they don't pay in time they default or if they are delaying the interest payment your bond fund will suffer and likewise if somebody has invested in a com- such a company stock then your stock will also struggle stock performance is a function of an ability of a company or you know the company's uh, earnings potential as well as current earnings everything and anything which affect the sentiments and the performance of companies uh, has a bearing on mutual fund returns different kind of mutual fund are meant for different uh, time period so uh, liquid funds are not meant for a long term holding and equity is supposedly you know held for or suggested or advised that okay hold it for the long term if you, if you have many many years uh, you know your investment is for many years invest in equity and that is what we also keep repeating time and again liquid fund which are the least risky they are also they, they have delivered nearly 3% over the last 6 months which is handsome 6% annualized short duration fund 7% which i would say is decent and equity savings which is uh, nominally into equity and substantially into fixed income that has given 7.5% aggressive hybrid funds over the last 5 years have delivered 11.71% and flexi cap nearly 13% 12.81% annualized over the last 5 years i'll explain you how and why interest rate has a bearing on the ex- return expectation of investors and that does not mean that it will materialize uh, it just refers to uh, there are two dimensions to interest rates one is that if you if you take no risk if you don't take any chances with your money if you put your money in a post office deposit or a bank deposit and you get some return and if you invest in equity and if you don't get as much return you will not invest there so it must make worthwhile it must make us make sense for you to be rewarded for the risk the ups and downs that you are taking or if you are investing in a bond fund for taking the risk of in you know putting your money in a company where there might be a risk of not getting your interest and principal on time so if there is no reward for that risk assumed then you will not invest there and that is how in the financial markets these risks the risks that you investors assume gets priced uh, and that reference point is the prevailing interest rate now it also has a bearing if interest rates are very high companies incur those expenses higher interest rate and that reduces their profitability so it has multiple effect you know investors available uh, expectation as well as companies earnings now uh, long time ago 30 years back when indian economy opened up our interest rates were regulated it used to be very high and market was not accessible so the risk free return used to be 11 or 12% i remember you know there used to be a rbi bond which used to earn 11% tax free 30 years ago and uh, 
eleven percent tax free if you get then your natural expectation should will be that you must get twenty percent twenty five percent and that is my expectation even now twice as much as what you will what I will earn on a risk free basis for my long term fixed income investment and that happens to be seven percent today if you look at p about seven percent today so I, if i my expectation will be uh, twice as much uh, very simply put but that doesn't mean that you will get it and all whenever you expect the risk to be rewarded it does not come in like a fixed deposit return it does not it does not become payable every quarter uh, one year you will get high you get more one year you get and you it comes with great ups and downs which may not be very uh, easy to uh, reconcile with Mutual fund returns are not guaranteed uh, for two reasons. One is that it cannot be guaranteed uh, because mutual fund is a uh, is a transit vehicle, so to say. You put money, you give your money to a mutual fund, and the mutual fund invests, and whatever return your money earns on those investments, you get it. Uh, it could be higher, it could be lower. Sometimes you can lose money, so it is it is a pass through. It, it you know mutual fund. Uh, is just a vehicle through which you invest in a manner where somebody is keeping an eye on those investments. One is the legal bit. SEBI rules do not permit mutual funds to assure any return. Nor should they because uh, everything that a mutual fund invests in comes with a market risk. Even though it is relatively safer when, when a mutual fund is investing in a liquid fund and the likelihood of that going down is very low. But it is, it is impossible to actually say that one will be able to deliver 4% or 3% or 2.5%. This is the range of return that you can earn. So that's perhaps the reason why SEBI does not permit even the least riskiest fund to assure any return. To err on the side of caution, I would say that uh, uh, Fair could mean different things for different people, but what will be a conservative expectation from our investments? And uh, you don't have to be fair about your expectation. You can unfairly expect and sometimes it, it materializes. Liquid fund should earn about 4.5% in the coming years. Short duration fund could be in the vicinity of 6%. Likewise, you know, equity savings fund could be anywhere between 6 to 8%, uh, depending on equity performance, because there is a 10, 15%, 20% equity allocation here and that will bring the ups and downs here and aggressive hybrid fund i would say expect less than what it has earned in the last five years but that will be in the vicinity around nine percent will be my conservative stance that does not mean that i'm pointing you that expect this much i'm saying that uh, there's a likelihood in a five-year time frame uh, this will be my expectation and from flexicap fund somewhere between 10 to 11 percent. As I was saying earlier that if I am taking some significant or meaningful risk, I would expect twice as much as the risk-free return that is available in the system. But a conservative stance will be one and a half times. When I look at all the alternatives that is available to an individual investor and the way it is accessible, the, the ease with which you are able to invest, I think equity funds hold promise in a sense that uh, they, are, they, they have been able to demonstrate in the last 30 years that they are able to beat inflation. And ability to beat inflation in a reasonably secure manner because of your holding period, equity will be very unsafe if you are looking at few months, few weeks, few days, and uh, if that is your time frame. But if you are investing for a few decades, I am very confident that the kind of return 10%, 11%, 12%, 13% relative to the interest rates prevailing in the economy is very significant premium to the risk free return that you earn. So uh, these are the funds which can make you wealthy. Well, that's all we have for you in today's episode. Keep watching the space for more information. If you like the show, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take care. Bye for now.